वेलकम टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन एंड विद्यालंकर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस डिपार्टमेंट वी हैव टेकन दिस न्यू इनिशिएटिव टू स्टार्ट अवर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड ऑल अवर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वीडियो वैल्यू एडेड कोर्स वीडियो और एनी अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियोज दिस मटीरियल विल बी अवेलेबल टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दिस मटीरियल विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स Uh, to enhance their learning not just in their classroom but even outside the classroom i hope that everyone will uh, like this our effort and in case of any query comments anything they can put it in uh, comment box thank you welcome to analog electronics wonder our today's experiment is on flippers flipper basically consists of a diode and a resistor this is a symbolic representation of Diode. This is P and this is N. When we give input P and N, then it is on. If we give negative input here, then diode is off. Now let's look here. Now we know the basic signal. We are given a sinusoidal signal. Now when input is positive, then uh, the diode will turn off, and when it is in negative cycle, it won't turn. This is that is why the negative side is flipped, and this is what happens in negative flipper. Exactly the opposite happens in positive flipper, where the positive side is flipped and the negative side is not flipped. Now this is a shunt flipper. Now what happens in shunt flipper is that when I give a positive input, the this diode here will be off. As a result of which, on we will get the input at the output. When I give the negative signal. This diode will be on, and the resistor will directly be connected to the ground. As a result of which, we uh, the negative side is flipped. That's what happens in negative flipper. In positive flipper, it is exactly the opposite of that of negative flipper, where when we give positive signal, this diode is conducting. As a result, it is directly connected to the ground, and we get the next positive signal gets flipped. Whereas in negative signal. In the negative cycle, this diode is off. As a result, it will conduct. That's all about the clipper. This is the circuit implementation of clipper. This is how a diode looks, and this silver ring here indicates the negative terminal. Now, accordingly, I have connected the unbiased series negative clipper. This is the circuit for unbiased series negative clipper. Now, I have already given the input. Now, let's see the output. As you can see, this is the frequency generator. Here, I have already set it for one one kilohertz and two volt peak to peak. This is what we get uh, as input. Here, it is one, and these are two blocks. That is two volt peak to peak. Now, let's see the output for each of these clippers. This is the connection according to the series unbiased negative clipper. Here, the input is given. through this line this line whole represents the input for each type of clipper and this line here represents the ground terminal similarly according to the circuits we have according to the circuit diagram we have connected the circuits now let's see the output of the series negative clipper we are going to give the output here this is what we have obtained at the output now if i move this above you can easily see that most of the negative part is completely clipped and some of the positive part is remaining that what happen that what happens in series negative clip now now let's see what happens in series positive clip i'm giving the output here now as you can see if i take it up then you can properly see that it uh, most of the positive side is clipped this is what happens in series positive clip now let's see what happens in shunt negative clip okay now i'm moving this up as you can see some part of the negative uh, signal is clipped this is c shunt negative clip and in shunt positive clipper you can see that some part of the positive is clipped this is all about the clipper that's all for today thank you